they're not taking people out of bands to put them into other bands that are going to disband them again. Yeah, yeah. I don't see the point in it. I think it's stupid. You've already taken them out of the train, training yeah. programme or out of bands. It's like to then have a successful career, to then what was the girl? traumatise them. That's a, a concept. That's a concept. Isn't it a new concept? That's a concept. When is he ever doing a bank girl concept? I am not concept? being funny. Is a girl we concept? are going to be like this. our current favourite K-pop songs. Um, these are songs that we play constantly that keep popping up on Spotify. Um, they're not necessarily songs that would be recent. new. Yeah, they're not all recent K-pop songs. That could be a separate video. But we just thought we'd compile all the songs that we think you should listen to whilst we've all got nothing to do. Have a dance around kitchen. Have a groovy old time. Um, yeah, so little update. Anybody who's seen Catherine's hair dye video, yeah. uh, the pink disappeared in a week. <laughs> um, it's been officially two weeks now, and I don't know what you can see, but I'm pretty much blonde with a peach tint. If you don't know, we dyed Catherine's hair in the last video on our channel. Go have a look. It was a fun old time. Frost cop. We expected more from you. We were rooting for you. We're we were all, all rooting for you. Rooting for you. Learn from this. Learn something. Right, sorry. <laughs> How we're gonna structure this is Catherine's gonna go through her top 10 and then I'm gonna go through my top 10 and then we're gonna compare, contrast, have a little debate. Fun old time, let's go. These are in no particular order, no shade, we love everyone. This is our opinion, quick disclaimer. We do not wanna start any fan wars. We love everyone. We are very multi-fandom. <laughs> so, based on my list, not in any particular order, we've got Lullaby by GOT7. The only reason I listened to this constantly it was because I slept on it when it came out and I know it's really bad. When did it come out? I'm gonna tell you now. Let's have a look. It came out in 2018. Oh, I old. thought it's 2020 now, babe. Oh my god, it's 2020. I was yeah. like, it's 2019. Oh yeah. Go watch our Got Seven concert vlog. The link will be up here. Oh, that's <laughs> Get it. Lullaby. So. What do you love about Lullaby? What, oh. what does the song do for you? What's the joy? It reminds me of being at the first K-pop night in uh, the short Troubadour and I was we were dancing with those girls and I was like, I know this dance and like we're doing the thing, na, 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 and doing all this. I was like, it's a boss song. You want to jam? You want to? You look at me. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Ah, she's a big okay, K-pop fan. Okay, cut that out. Lullaby goes. <laughs> um, yeah, but Lullaby got seven. A tune. A dance moment. You make me a a oh uh, chest kiss. Brilliant tune. So yeah, tune. Next song. Number song number two. Two. Moonwalker by Seventeen. Oh, a tune. Now, a club classic. Arguably, there would be more Seventeen on this, but I've been devastated that our that the concert we were supposed to go and see Seventeen in in London was cancelled. Devastated. It should have seen them in March, and they cancelled it because of coronavirus, and we were fuming because we were like coronavirus isn't gonna be a thing they're just like you know and then it was and they were right but yeah um so i could listen to moonwalker because i could somehow distance myself because it wasn't supposed to be on the playlist that they were gonna play at the concert I should have been shouldn't have been but i could listen to it without getting upset that i wasn't gonna see them live and it's a tune and Bing how and jun's lines after them i do love 17 and hopefully when this is all over they will reschedule their year of tour and i will see ming Yu in all his wanky glory but maybe not why because Leaders are trash. Do you want them to sue us? Leaders are trash. Say it with me. Say it with me. Say it with me. I want to get invited to a concert. Leaders are trash. Wow. And I want my big hitter. They're still trash. Yeah, but the maybe big trash. Tra trash. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, 17. Love ya. Song number three. Okay, I found this on a Spotify playlist that was, you like this, so you will like this, and they were right. It is, of course, Face by Wu Sung. Oh my god. It is a tune, I had no idea who he was until I heard the song, and I was like, oh my god, I love this song. Have you seen the fan cam of him singing this? No, I haven't. Oh my god. 
to say to Betsy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a life changing experience, is it? And I didn't know Mrs. the Rose when I listened to it and I showed Laura, I was like, this song's a banger. You're like, oh my god, is that the Rose? I was like, no. I could just hear that. <laughs> Fingers got going. And I was like, I know that song. I didn't know the song, but I knew the voice. I know that voice. Oh, oh it's so good. It's so it's underrated so as well. Okay, but yeah, if you haven't listened to that song, it's a banger. It's such a tune, it really is. Okay, from there. Wow. Is a uh, Superfly by 24K. An old tune, but a banger. That video is which 24K song is the one where everyone shoots each other? I think it's this one, isn't it? Is it Superfly? The one where they're in the gangs and the game? And he's the police officer? Or is that. No! Me, 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 me. That's GP, that's one yeah. shot, but that's not the same video. <laughs> Honourable mention! <laughs> Honourable mention! <laughs> one shot! Oh. <laughs> Honourable mention, Bingo by 24K. Yeah, had tunes. They are the tunes. Yeah, absolute tunes. Tunes are integral. Be are integral. Number five. Okay, number five is Solo by Jenny. And this is also another, it gets played a lot of K pop nights. So I listen to it because it reminds me of being a K-pop night. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you here. I didn't like it when it came out. That is blasphemy. I know it Absolute is. Absolute blasphemy. Because I watched somebody's video on this song sounds like through the songs. But it does. It's K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we going to are we gonna act like it's that deep? I also had a thing of not liking Blackpink because I was like... Yeah. They just turned up and were winning everything. Everyone's like, but you did win. They win though. They, they win, win though. I know they win. They traded for seven years. I know. In the YG basement. I know. How can you come and tell me that they have come and just they get two songs a year? I know. I know. Well, I know that now, don't I? Two songs a year. But solo is a tune, and I'm sorry for sleeping on it, and I'm sorry for sleeping on Blackpink. Honorable mention is. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, okay. But yeah, no, it's a tune. Um, because I also had the thing of like not liking Kiss and Makeup either. Oh, I used to play that one. I know, but now it's a, well, it got played in our way because I could secretly put it on the playlist and no one would know it was K-pop because it was in English. Number six. District 9 by Stray Kids. I love Stray Kids. <laughs> great, great, that's it. That's great, that's all you need to know. This and Nero I played a lot, but this one still just bangs. And it, I love it, I love it. Controversial opinion. You don't like this one, do you? I don't not like it. I like most things the Stray Kids put out. I would argue that this does not go as hard as school life. Oh my god, you're obsessed Tune. with that. I can't believe that's not on your own playlist. Like, we watched the survival TV show and that's all she played for about four months. It's so good. It's so good. And when JYP what was like, JYP your said? voice is annoying. No, 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 no. <laughs> JYP said, your voice is suffocating. That's what I was like, what does that mean? Oh, poor Jungie. Why is it suffocating? And then we sobbed because they were like to Felix, your Korean's no good. Goodbye. You are trash. And we were like, ah. <laughs> Disgraceful. And we also gave up the opportunity to go and see Stray Kids because we were going to go to 17, but now they're both cancelled. So oh. now we're just here. <laughs> Seven <laughs> um, is on by BTS. No, <laughs> we're both going to say the same thing. I've just gone, but not with Sia. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> I hate it so much. Wow. Oh, it's a tune. I'm sorry, Taehyung in that video with that hair 
I love, oh, mm. it's a tune. I better agree it's a tune. I do not play in the sea of Asian. Mm. That needs to go into the pits of hell. <laughs> Put it in the bin. Put it in the bin. Oh, oh bin. no. Yeah, oh, no. But anyway, it's a beautiful, it's a great song. It's a fantastic album. We love BTS. Again, we've got to get tickets when they were coming to London, but. <laughs> we in quarantine. So what we do now is we go back and watch our video, but we did go to see them in concert and cry. You can find that here. Yeah, no, on is a great song. Um, I would argue it's not my favourite song from that album. No, I would say it's not my favourite song from the album. Well, I don't know what yours is. We'll find that out later. Yeah. Honourable mention. Days Gone By by Day Six. I absolutely <laughs> love that song. What Day Six song? Yeah got blasted in that karaoke bar. Yeah, first uh, Oh, really? Yeah, yeah first uh, holding it. And everyone's holding up pictures of the Rex. Oh yeah, my God, that's it's just brilliant. Take yeah. me there, oh. take me there. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. On BTS, yes. great song. Number <laughs> eight. Oh my God. Um, an old tune, what a banger, is Up and Down by Exit. And I'm gonna tell you how I got this song. It's probably very different from how you got this song. Um, you gonna stop? Well, I explain. Please stop doing the dance. Please stop it. I found this song because Got Seven were on We Play Idol and we're doing the dance challenge. Oh, do you remember and that? Yukon was in that yellow jumper and he'd smashed it and done all the um, the boy dances and then Bam Bam heard girl group song. I was like, I know every one of these. That boy. I was like, I know all these dances. Got half of them wrong. I know. Me too, honestly. But like, and that red and black jumper. That was a fashion moment. It was a fashion moment. That was the If You Do Era. Fashion era. was born the day that Bam Bam wore a jumper. From the era that was. Truly. Well, I found up and down from that um, fan cam. Iconic fan cam that saved e EXID's career. Exit. Exit. I'm not going to call them EXID. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. But we're wrong. I we are wrong. Care. We are wrong. I'd rather be wrong than be right. Wow. How profound. So yeah, it's a banger. Like, right? it's a tune. Like, right? it hits differently. It hits differently. It really does. Every EXID song hits different. What's Lady. The one? Um, What's the one with the old drum? I love you. Oh. Um, tune. Tune. Are you hungry? Me always. Yum. Yes, I am. Yum, 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 yum. Nine. Nine is not number nine. Oh, by oh, what a tune! It should be. What was the other one that they did that I was obsessed with ages? What was the other one? Do you see what I asked for? No, what was the other Tara one that we were obsessed with? Well, Tiara, see, I thought them wrong things off. Do you know she's number nine? You don't know my name. What's my name? That one. What's my name by Tiara? Obsessed. Tiara. Absolute cool classics. Also, honourable mention, Cara, Mamma Mia. Oh my god. Mamma Mia. Okay, stop. Okay. Am I gonna get copyright Probably stroke? Probably, yes. Fucking stroked. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, copyright stroke me. Me when JYP get a sniff of a K-pop song and like, that's my video, that's my video, that's my video. I'm like, I filmed this video with my voice. Big Hit like, sounds. Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Number nine for the people is No Air by The Boys. No, no breathing. Oh, oh, I love The Boys. It's so good. What boys? The Boys. Period. What do you love about No Air by The Boys? I can't really explain it. I think I just played it non-stop when we first got it. And it was like the last group of songs we got when we had um, Apple Music. Yeah. And my phone would only play certain, my iPod would only play certain songs because it was old and running out. And it loved that song. So I just played it non-stop. It reminds me of being on holiday, lying, eating a pack of leaves. What's not to love? Number six is the absolute banging tune Dun Dun by Everglove. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. If I could look like oh my one god. of those girls, my life would be made. I mean, listen, people need to get off the buttons. They need to get their earphones. They need to go and stand Everglow because these queens are saving it. They can save music, they can save dance, they can save concepts, Lots. they can save boy group realness. <laughs> they could both adopt you and punch you in the face <laughs> at the same time. I still see and I'd be like, thank you Everglow, <laughs> punch me again. Oh my God, life changing. Uh, yeah, done done. Just is like their best song. Female bands. Ooh. Oh, their best song. Better than Adios. Yeah, that's why I got you that album. Goodbye, your body. Yeah, no, that's a better song. Just a better dance. Better concept. I've just got one more honorable mention. By the the boys, you can't really see behind my head. What we love. Got stroking them. Only four of them. With Harvey. Well, Groovy. No, it's Harvey. Well, I like saying it. Groovy. <laughs> Don't need your love. I listened to that song non-stop for about six it's weeks so and I made her hate it because I didn't stop playing it. It's an SM station as well, they didn't even get a proper comeback. Mm -hmm. Oh, such a tune. it's only the four of them as well. Like, oh, it just, it hits differently. It's a tune. It's so good. My number one, in no particular order, is Fancy by Twice. Oh. Because, listen, this is just it's just, it's just iconic. It's made it both into TikTok yeah. media and into my heart. <laughs> and I don't know whether any of the other songs will ever be fit. Feel special. You make me feel special. I'd argue that's a better song. Wouldn't you? I think Fancy is just more iconic. Fancy is just a bop, a tune, a good cool classic. Uh, number. Two. Sorry for my terrible Korean, but number She's trying to teach me. Number that. two is Tagawa by B Lady. B Lady. B Lady. Anyway, the YouTuber Subini used to be in a K-pop group called B Lady. Yes. Um, it was like a good few years ago now. Oh god, yeah. But they were like not massive, but they were kind. They did all right. Um, they were a K-pop girl group, and I watched a video where he and her old members met up for the first time in like five years and did a um, reenactment of the did like a dance class yeah, they yeah, yeah. doing all their dances to see if they can remember them <laughs> um, and this song was on it and it's such a tune and it's one of those songs I feel like if people picked it up now it, it, would, would, be huge. it would be massive if it twice have done it it would be a banger it's so good and it's just so funky it's got like that old school girl yeah, yeah. play yeah, yeah. like yeah, it's yeah. just good it's yeah. groovy so be Lady Dagawa, if you haven't heard that, go on YouTube it. Thank me later. It's an absolute tune. Number three. three. Um, this is Ugh Ugh U G H Ugh. Ugh. I'm not cool enough to make Ugh sound good, but Ugh by BTS. It's such a tune. And I would argue that this hits harder than any of the other songs on the album. Yeah, so Ugh is still a tune, even though I would say it's not the best hip-hop unit song. No, but it's a tune, I remember. It's a tune. It is. We both first heard it, and I think we both texted each other the same thing, like, oh my god, this is a banger. What? This is, this is slaps. It makes me want to fight. It'd be great, lad. That's a good hip-hop unit song. Does it make me want to fight? Number four. four. Number four is the one by ExoCBS. Oh, you know why I like this song? <laughs> Very specifically, the section in the middle where they're all like, nah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask her, she likes me, she likes me, she likes me. Does somebody have them dressed up as? And he goes, jockey off. She goes, I don't know what. And it's dangerous, the girl, they go, dangerous, dangerous. Uh, uh, uh. It's so good. It's so good. I think it's just, it's one of those songs when you want to listen to something but you don't want it to be like too serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, I just want a good time. I just want to listen to a tune. The one always gives me that tune real. Number five. Number five is nine and three quarters brackets runaway oh. by TXT. Oh. This is a tune. This is a tune. It's so good. We slept on this. So we got I got into this song like a couple of months after it came out. Because I enjoyed 
am TXT's debut song. The Crown. I didn't enjoy Cat and Dog. I don't like them. I don't think that's aimed at our age group. Yeah, they, they're giving me very like Astro. Honorable mention is Astro's Puss and Boots. Oh, after two. Nine and three quarters oh. is a good song. It gives me like fantasy realness. The little like. It gives me early got seven. Yeah, number six is Let Me Introduce You to Some New Things. New Things. New Things is, of course, Kick It by NCT. Oh. 127? 127. 127. I watched the Kick It Challenge on TikTok. Yeah. Like the girl who did it. Yeah. And then NCT like reenacted it. And I was like, cute. I love that. Yeah, so Kick It is giving me badass realness. Oh. I love it. I'm here for it. Yes. Too, isn't it? yes. Thank you, NCT. Thank you, NCT. Thank you, NCT. Thank you, NCT. Number. Number seven. Is. We already mentioned it. It's Adios by Ever. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love, love my them. queens. My new faves. We love them. We've already said everything we can say about Everglow, but this is a tune. It gives me, like, it makes feel good vibes. Yeah, it makes me well, like, feel like a, a cool female. Yeah, which is important. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, after the tune, Stan Everglow. That's all we've got to say on that one. Uh, so, number eight is a song that I really didn't like. Yeah. At first, but now I am completely convinced. Wanna be by Itzy. Mm. After the tune, after the banger. You're not so convinced, are you? I like the first one, Dala Dala. Yes, I think my problem with JYP girl groups is that he he gets them successful with one thing and then he's like, you're just gonna keep doing that. And I think that's my problem. And I know it works and I know it gets some loads of money. That's my problem with Twice and I know I'm gonna get killed. I disagree. I wholeheartedly disagree. Just think can you tell me that. can you tell me hmm. a single Twice song that has the same concept? They're all cute concepts! No, but, 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 fine, you say that. Take it back, strip it back a bit. I'm gonna tell you now. Knock knock with a Halloween concept. Oh my god, just because they change their outfit doesn't That's stop a it from being an concept. concept. That's a concept. Is it an AU concept? That's a concept. When is he ever doing a bad girl I am concept? Not being funny. Is a bad girl we concept? are gonna be like this. Tell me how different are the boy groups? How different are all the boy group concepts? Not mentioning the outfits or the set. They're all bad boy concepts. No, got seven went from just right to if you do. You tell me. You concept. tell me. Yeah, in the first, but you tell me how how lullaby is different from look. You can't say I'm angry. You can't say that twice's concepts are all the same, and you certainly can't say that Ipsies are. They are independent no, I women and they wear nice outfits yes. and are like, bitch, I am the best, okay. and I'm like, you are the best. I do the song wanna be. She's like, I just I know, wanna be me. I know. Dala Dala is like, bitch, you wanna, I like you Dala wanna Dala. be me. You wanna follow I like, me. I like Dala Dala. I didn't like the second one. It's like the thing I have with Cards. I thought Cards two face songs are very similar. All the Cards songs are good. You've gotta give people the chance. You've gotta give groups the chance to grow. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, wanna be gives me strong female realness. Okay. And I love it. I just need to listen to it. I sound like number. Nine? Yes, nine. Number nine. Deja Vu oh. by newest W. w. It is... I'm trying to find new ways on tune. It's... It slaps. It slaps. And newest is it better. Yeah. And I've said it. And I absolutely hate... I have a competition. I can't stand them. Why are they putting these poor people through it? You're still it's slightly better than the Samuel. Oh yeah. my god. Samuel deserves better. Why was Cam Daniel treated like that? You hate idol competitions. I do, because I hate idol competitions. Because why are they putting kids through that to then have to go back to their own companies? Yeah. Or why are they ripping them out of successful bands that then have to operate without them? Ace. Ace. Newest. Newest. Up tension. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference between an idol competition 
on like a set, like seventeen reality show. Yeah. So there's the idol competitions where they audition people mm-hmm. to be part of a band mm-hmm. that they already know who they want to be. Who in they want to be yeah. in it. They've already got the trainees that they yeah, want to yeah. be in it. They're not taking people out of bands to put them into other bands that are going to disband them again. Yeah, yeah. I don't see the point in it. I think it's stupid. My, my thing is, is why would you then? Yeah. This you've already taken them out of the train, training yeah. program or out of bands. It's like to then have a successful career to then what was the girl traumatise them what was the girl group one with Chungari and she desperately wants to be and in the girl group IOI yeah, IOI, IOI, IOI had bangers and then they had to put them back together and half of IOI went to prison who pleaders killed and then the other half Wecky went Wecky. to Wiki Necky who are just not it yeah and, and poor Chunga enraged poor Chunga just wanted mates oh. she just wanted friends I hate idol competitions and I will Stand on my two feet on top of a mountain <laughs> and scream it. I um, hate them. I hate them. Anyway, besides the point, Deja Vu by Newest. I need to take myself down <laughs> because I'm kind of angry now. D- Newest W, Deja Vu. It's a tune. It's a tune. Okay, and then we've got number 10, which is Go Go Baby. Go Go Baby. It's Mama Moo and it is Ivanga. Now, you are not a okay, Mama Moo fan. I'm just not into them. I don't know what it is. They just slightly enrage me. But like this, you like this song. I like this song. And, and I like, like Starry Night. Yes. Okay. And you like hip. I like hip. You know what? They give me like intimidating girl vibes. And that's what it is. I love it. I think he's scared. I am scared of them. And I love it. Honourable mention. Wet by Jesse. And... Flusy? Yes. Oh, good tune. Good tune. I love Jessie. Good she's tune. an intimidating woman. But, but she's so nice. Yes. Yeah. But if Jessie punched me in the face, I'd say, thank you, Jessie. I love you. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I agree. I agree. Oh. Okay. What's the point? Okay, the point of this video <laughs> is, um, I think I just love talking about K-pop. I agree. And I want to share that with people. And if, like, we can get people listening to bands that we've never listened to before then I'd be very pleased with that because sure. certain bands deserve more respect than they get What do you think deserves more respect than K-pop? Um, if there's a band that we haven't said that you think we'd enjoy from our recommendations please let us know, I'm always open to new songs 100% DM us like mentions Oh yeah, DM us um, Let us know, follow us, Cat and Lord Explore Cat and Lord Explore Or if you want to email us, you can email us at kathanlaurexplore.gmail.com um, I don't know why you want to email us This has been Kath and Lauren Daw, Also known as Kath and Laura Rant about K-pop for an hour at this point But yeah, I hope you enjoyed We're going to have to make part 2 We're going to have to make part 2 uh, because uh, we'll, this is too much. we'll make a part 2 of songs that we don't think get enough recognition 100% yeah Stay tuned for part 2 This has been Kath and Lauren Daw, Stay groovy, listen to K-pop, drink some water Wash your hands Wash your hands Bye.